Okay. Quick little video, because I was like, why not? I thought about making this a few days ago, and then I just didn't. So, this game is infamously hit or miss on uh, people's PCs for just being unoptimized. Um, I've always had this one issue. I'm sure you guys how to fix it, which is where you're just running around. It could be in the middle of nowhere, and you'll get just random slowdown. This is also just for how to make the game a lot more stable. Like that, I turn around, I'm getting that, that weird frame drop for seemingly no reason when I look in new directions. And I'm just running around. It's almost as if it's compiling shaders, but if you look up in the corner, I'm using Direct X11. Nothing that needs to compile shaders. It's just very poorly optimized. Um, it, it's random. It could be literally anywhere in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I remember when I first had this issue, I looked it up. It was not because my, because it's on a my, it's not because it's on a hard drive. It's it's not because my computer's bad. I have a 3070 Ti 5600X. Um, it's it's not invalidating files didn't fix it. Reinstalling the game several times didn't fix it. Nothing would fix it. So. To show you guys how to fix that problem while also just making the game better overall before this guy comes and tries to kill me. So we're gonna go ahead and quit the desktop, and there will be a link in the description uh, for you to download um, this. This right here. If you know what this is and you already know where this is going, if you do not, then let me explain. Basically, this is going to be converting the game from DirectX 11 to Vulkan. And Vulkan is way just more stable. Um, for instance, an example of it being more stable is if you play Left 4 Dead 2, like me, I play a decent amount of Left 4 Dead 2. If you play a lot of Left 4 Dead 2, if you have a ton of mods, especially mods with high poly, really, really high poly count, like anime models and stuff, they have very high poly counts if they're detailed. And the more you have and you join servers with like 20 players with using those high poly count uh, models, you'll see your frame rate really start to dip. Another instance is in Borderlands 2. If you go to 1,000 cuts and you go to the top where that little sign is where it says Claptrap was here, if you go up there and you look back to where you just came from, your frames will drop drastically no matter what your PC is. That's because DirectX... I mean, 9, which is what I think this is, this is, it's also the same API this game runs under, it basically becomes overloaded, and no matter what your PC is, no matter what your CPU, GPU, how much RAM you have, you will dip super low, because the engine is being just overloaded, and it's not able to push the frames that you would normally get. So, if you put Vulkan, if you add Vulkan to the Left 4 Dead 2, for instance, which is, you don't have to do this, you literally just add it to launch options because it, it supports it, then that'll actually make it more stable. But we're going to be doing this for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So go to your games and you go to your manage, browse local files, and it will open up here. And basically you just want to find wherever the EXE is, depending on the game. This works in most games. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, it is hit or miss on whether or not it'll work in a game or not. Some games it will not work. For instance, Borderlands 3, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, which Borderlands 3 is a that game is horrendously optimized for PC. I've had terrible luck with it. Recently, I've been able to get it working. But if you have a NVIDIA GPU and you drop these in there, it will it will get to the little splash screen logo to pops up on your screen before it launches, and then it will crash. Uh, Borderlands 2, if you convert it using NVIDIA, you have to do a workaround so that you don't have to go through the launcher anymore because the launcher usually always crashes, or it's like a 40% chance that it'll work and it won't crash. So you just got to sort of get through it by launching, not the launcher, but the game itself. Um, but we're talking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So you just find wherever the EXE is, which it'll take you straight to it if you browse the local files. Um, and now you just open up this um, zip file, uh, the tar GZ in like 7-zip or when we're using 7-zip. Um, you just open up the tar and then you'll get a little folder here. Open this. Uh, it's a 64-bit game, so open that. And basically you're going to be taking the DXGI 
if you're doing this for another game, you literally just take whichever API it uses. So if it uses DirectX 12, you actually can't do this because DirectX 12 and Vulkan are very similar in performance. So there's just no reason to really convert. But if it's using DirectX 11 down to nine, then you can do this. So it's using DirectX 11. So I'm going to copy these two files and drop them right in here. And it should both be in here now. And there you go. So now we're going to relaunch the game. Let's close these. So that's Secret Odyssey. Play. We're going to relaunch the game. Um, I remember when I first discovered this, because uh, when I first got my gaming laptop, which is not what I'm playing on right now, but when I first got it, I had the same issue. Um, actually, no. I didn't have the issue on my original PC. It was just an RX 580, so it didn't run amazingly. I mostly had driver problems. Same with the 1060 that I had. But the um, my laptop had a 3050 Ti, and it, it ran it ran great. The problem was this problem, and I never figured it out. And then I eventually did on my laptop, and it completely fixed the problem with my laptop. Now, real quick, since we're using Vulkan, Vulkan does have the compile shaders. So when you first launch the game, the load time is going to be excruciatingly long the first time because it's compiling shaders um, to initially get you into the game. Not excruciatingly long, but it will be longer than a normal loading screen, um, despite having an SSD and all that. Um, this will always pop up, by the way. Um, to get that to go away, just do Shift F2 and then click X. If you want to never pop up, then go to your settings in your um, Ubisoft launcher here. And you can actually disable this entirely. I actually don't remember how to, but you can. You can straight up disable this thing but i for some reason can't find it so we'll just leave it at that for now okay so simply click continue or new game whatever you're doing and we're gonna you'll be able to see the, the shaders compile very clearly once we get to the game because it will be really framey and the best way to get these shaders compiled is just to run around the areas hit some things hit some people uh, shoot people with arrows, use some of your abilities, jump in water, swim in water, um, open up your map, open up your menus, It'll go through all the menus just to get all these shaders compiled where you can just play the game because when you first start it will be unbearable. So hopefully you ended your game in a secluded and safe area. Um, or maybe you just want to get them all compiled at once so you just write in combat, it's up to you. Uh, but when you first get in, it's going to be an unbearable mess because it's compiling literally everything around you at the exact same time. Um, I also didn't say this, but I, I hope you, I assume everybody already has it enabled, but you do need to have the shader compiling enabled in Steam. Um, but I feel like that's, I don't know, I'll put probably on the screen or something but yeah we're in the game here actually it might already have some shaders compiled because i already did this it's still a little framey because it's still it is compiling some shaders so we just hit this guy over probably yeah it lagged just gonna kill him because now he's trying to kill me yeah all right we're gonna use a skill here open up the menus here like, like someone will jitter or, or hang a little bit because it's compiling the shaders. Let's see, compiling more shaders. That's what that is. Eventually, it will just stop entirely because all the shaders, or like 90% of them, getting all the compiled will take quite a while because the game is quite large. You call the mountain again? Oh, it's X. Okay. I haven't played in a minute. Oh my god. Just running around, as you see though, the frames immediately running around I, beforehand, I was in like the 80s and now I'm hovering at 90 when the shaders aren't compiling. Just gonna keep running around here. So what I recommend you do is just get the environment all good and ready is to just get on a horse and ride around for a bit. Get this last chest. Yeah, but the frames are immediately way better uh, because it's just Vulcan is more optimized. Let's go. 
Another, another thing I like about right here actually is to sneak. This is technically do that. I think most, some of my shaders are still here because I actually went ahead and took out my Vulcan just to sh just to show this off. This epic fix I accidentally found, which probably exists online somewhere, but when I was looking at the time, it was not a thing. So I just really had to deal with the horrible frame rate issues. This is running flawlessly. I'm not having any horrible seizures on the stutter. Probably just shader compiling. It's really hard to tell when you first get it set up to to, to to be like, oh, the game is still bad, or or it's just you know, Vulcan. It's really hard to tell. Here's some water. This is gonna compile when I get in. Yeah, some of the shaders are definitely already compiled for me. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, how do we dive again? Isn't it V? It's not V. I'm an idiot. How do you dive? Come on. I have fucking not played in so long. How do you dive? Now it's aggravating me. I gotta figure it out. Oh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Those are all shaders getting compiled right there. Oops, swim up. But now if I go back under, smooth, because the shaders have been compiled. And it might just be this game's problem. That's why most new games have shader compiling, and that's because it's to help with frame rates so that all of these assets and effects are all on hold, ready to be used, rather than the game using them and then scrapping them. But yeah, I mean. These are results. I mean, the game is running way better than it was before. So I wouldn't really worry about it when it stutters. I'd say 30 minutes of gameplay and you'll be fully compiled and, and ready to play a smooth fun experience and I'm playing on high settings by the way I'm not playing on, on no ultra or anything I feel like that the jump is not too big or anything like that um, I think high looks just as good as ultra to be honest and the frame rate is a little bit better which is why I do it it's also less taxing on the PC so this uh, you helped it helped me when when I was initially um, playing this game and having horrendous issues and then I just wanted to figure it out so this do you figure your shit out because no one deserves to get a good PC or even a decent PC you try to play this game and it just run like garbage when your hardware can run it so that's good thank you for watching hope it helped um, new gameplay video soon I kind of skipped out on Oblivion because I just didn't feel like playing Oblivion uh, I kind of want to play some other games as well but I don't really know I'm trying to figure that out I have some I have a new monitor coming in like today, so that'll be fun to sit. Anyways, bye. <laughs>